Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create these different types of wireframe shaders with only one material. And in the end I'll also show you how to animate it from one side to the other. So let's get started. First we need to make sure that our object only consists of one object. So therefore if you have different parts like in my case, do the following. First we can toggle on the X-ray mode and then we can select all the objects. If we now press Ctrl J, we can merge all these objects into one. From that stage we can continue on with the shader. Let's switch this timeline here to the shader editor. And as we can see our object already has different materials. But this doesn't matter, we just add in a new material by hitting this plus button at the top here and then press new. Let's call this one wireframe. And that we can actually see this material on our object, we have to press tab to go into edit mode, press A to select all the vertices, and then over here hit assign. If we press tab again to go back into object mode, this white material we just created will be assigned to the whole object. Alright, from here on we will disconnect this principal BSDF and add in a mix shader node, this one right here. Let's connect this shader to the surface and the principal BSDF in the first shader node. Now there is a super handy node which is already called wireframe and we can connect this one into the mix shader factor. And as we can already see we have the wireframes of our object. With the size value here we can increase or decrease the size of of the different lines. So let's find a setting which suits for us. And now maybe we don't want the lines to be black. Therefore we add in a second principal BSDF node. Plug this one into the mix shader down here. Now if we change this color, let's say to a blue color, the lines will turn blue. With this setup we can actually do whatever we want. We can change the colors of the lines. We can also go into the emissions tab and select a color and increase the strength so that the lines will glow. We can also go to the first principal BSDF and change the color right here and this will change the material underneath the lines. If you want no material at all you can play around with the alpha setting here so if we put the alpha to zero we can see through the whole object. Most of the time I don't like this too much because the lines can get super cramped so I leave the alpha at 0.5 or maybe even leave it at 1. But this is all up to you, you can do whatever you like with this. Cool, now let's look at how to animate the wireframe. In the lower principle BSDF we have to add in a gradient texture. Plug this gradient texture into the alpha. For a better understanding how the gradient texture behaves, we can press Ctrl, Shift and left click to only see how the gradient texture behaves. As we can see we have a white value over here and the gradient moves to a black value to on the right side. To change this we can select the gradient texture and press Ctrl T to add these two nodes. If nothing happens this means you don't have the node wrangle add-on activated, go to edit, preferences and under add-ons search the node wrangle add-on and activate it. First I like to change the texture coordinate to object which makes it sometimes easier. Alright let's change the rotation of the set axis to 90 so the front part is actually white and the back part is black. If I play around now with the X value you can see we can change the location of the gradient. At this stage let's select our mix shader again and press shift control and left click to see the final outcome. And all we have to do now is to animate the X location of our wireframe. To animate this value we can add in a second window here and let's select the timeline. If we go to frame 1 now we can select the mapping node and hover over the X location and then press I to set a keyframe. Let's go to maybe frame 30, play around with the X location again so we see all the wireframes press I again and then if we play the animation you can see the wireframe gets revealed. Again if you only want to reveal the wireframe you can go to the first principal BSDF and change the alpha to zero and now you should only see the wireframes right here. This was it for today, thanks a lot for watching. If you have some questions write them in the comments and I see you the next time. Peace out.